Red Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube people channel. Oh, to do another Try Not To Laugh challenge. I was able to find part two of my most recent uh, Justin Whitehead, my 600 pound life Try Not To Laugh challenge. J-Rock is gonna do part two. And J-Rock asked this question, can Justin Whitehead break the great one? I will. J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in in in, in with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here. J Rock right now he is about to do a try not to laugh challenge to Justin Whitehead. He found part two of his most recent one uh, that's up on the Great Ones channel right now. Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. And I found part two, so I'm going to watch that one. We're going to do a Try Not To Lab challenge to this. You know the rules. If you break time step, where you lost and why. But if you make it through, you got to type the smack was laid down. Either way, share this video on your favorite social media platform and let the world know that J-Rock is here. All right? Um, going to be in the future. Uh, soon going to be doing some giveaways, some contests for the top um, you know, top engagers on the Great Ones channel. The, the YouTube um, communities tab allows us to see who our top engagers were for the month, watching videos, commenting, interacting, all that sort of sort of thing. So I'll be looking to do that here in the future. So make sure you're watching, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff. And uh, you could be entered into a contest to win a little bit of moolah, baby. But we're not going to waste some more time. J-Rock says this, baby. J-Rock has one thing to say, and that is Justin Whitehead. Just bring. Let's get your ass over here and care on. I'm going to pick up where we left off. So excited. Sorry, sir. How are you? You can tell Troy ain't got shit on his mind. Quite a while, huh? It's been many years. What seems to be your biggest challenge with your diet? Not eat. Sweets. Sodas. Okay, how many sodas? Man. Ooh. I could drink a 12 pack. Maybe a little more sometime. Just the bend. I can imagine what the fuck your kid is like while you sitting there bragging about that. Pizza. I'll have a snack. You know, I like my chocolate. Maybe some chips sometime. Dinner usually comes 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And I have whatever I'm eating for dinner, mostly burgers or pizza. And you just ran your ass back in the bed. <laughs> that stupid song bitch sitting right there beside him. Turn your ass around when I'm talking to you. Troy, stupid ass. Look at him. Okay, I'll go pizza. You know. Look at him sitting over there at night like he came down. Everybody really Okay. Look, look, boy, I tell you the truth. I know a stupid song, bitch, when I see one. Okay. Okay. Tanisha is going to be an interesting case. At five foot one, her weight is extremely out of control. She is proportionally equal to 700 pounds for someone of more average height. So her body is being pushed to the limit right now. Well, hell, we know that. I ain't no damn doctor. She won't live much longer at that point. So, how do you see that the surgery is going to change any of this? I feel like it's giving me hope. It's giving me something to look forward to, you know. You, know, you can give yourself some fucking hope. That's a pick of a speech. Give me hope. Uh, it, it, I mean, moderation. Oh. You ain't going to bear this bullshit, Doc, now. We've been doing this a long goddamn time. Uh, help one aspect of you. Yeah, but it's got to be me with the other part. Back on the well, if you already know this shit, what the fuck you send your large ass in there for? K ass home and don't bother us no more. We trying to help folks who want to damn get this shit. And the portion control comes with the surgery. In order to be prepared for surgery, you're going to have to get hand on arm all those things. And then if you got to that point, then surgery would be a good option for you. Tanisha has an answer for everything. About to go just get your ass. Yeah, she fucking know it all. Bitch. And she's the one who clearly runs the household. You wouldn't run no fucking house from the bed. I'll tell you that. Revolve around her. 
you know, the 32 and, you know, the way they are right now. You don't have much longer like this. So this is the time to change before it's too late. And the process... Hey, don't go down there and talk to that motherfucker with the pink shirt on. Okay. Shit. There'll be no soda. There'll be no chocolate. She ain't no fucking skinny men in her damn self. And no carbs. Eat only two or three times a day. No stacking. Don't fucking fix your damn mouth up like that. Boy, look at that stupid son of a bitch right the other side. <laughs> no, he had to go to the gym when everybody else was taking tests. Something that we give you, you gotta be successful. But if you eat whatever in the bed, we in the classroom taking tests. His ass in the lunchroom. Ten years after surgery, you're gonna be the same class. Playing bingo and shit. I know these unhealthy habits. Bingo. You got to have a whole fucking row, Phil Troy. You ain't got no goddamn bingo. Now sit your ass over here and shut up. You ain't even put the damn mark on the free space. You know what? That's why your ass in this cafeteria now, why everybody else taking a fucking test. He's just, he's just going off on something shit. totally nothing to do with the episode. All right. I'll see you later. I know I have to do what the doctor is telling me. I'm not looking forward to it, and I know it's going to be hard. But I know this is my last chance to have a life. Boy, I know he catching hell pushing There's that goddamn chill. In my life. For me to stay where I'm at, it means nothing but death to me. Making these damn chill. Look, look, he got that poor, that ugly ass man up there to see. get you. Oh. I'm ready for it. She driving. He walk around like one of the fucking kids. No, I thought you couldn't get your fucking ass out the bed. Oh. See? The damn salad right there in her fucking face and she ain't even see it. Cause she don't want no shit like that. She don't even know what the fuck a salad is. That man come right in there and get the damn thing and you sitting there your Watch this shit here. Look, 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 no sodas, no chocolates. I mean, lots more salad, and that's it. Yeah, a salad filled with fucking steak and chicken. That defeat the goddamn purpose, Nisha. It's been more hard for me to focus because I did just lose my mom, and usually when I'm emotional, I'm emotional eater. Oh, that's that ranch on that. So this is the time that I would usually go to my snacks and fast foods and just drown myself in whatever. But losing her to obesity, I just don't want my kids to go through the same thing. So I have to look at the big picture. And Shut the fuck up. That's just like my mama being a crackhead, dying smoking the fucking crack. And then I just get on crack because I got to cope with her death. Shut your goddamn mouth. See, look, they don't even like no healthy shit. Look, look, look. Now get your ass out of that spanking ass chair she been sitting in. I know she done pissed in it before. Long term without surgery. I know it's a goddamn chicken salad. You put strips in it, not fucking nuggets, not a whole damn breast. Really yeah, she warmed the salad up. Fucking dressing gonna spoil. I've been praying nonstop for today, and that the scale will be down to the number I need. Shit. Please, you know, your damn mind, that's what you lost. Miss Cleveland? I'm so nervous right now. Oh, I'm so nervous right now. You can't wait yourself at home? Turn my life around. Watch this. And I've worked as hard as I can this past night. I'm about to disappear with him so hungry. Right now, it's all in God's hands. So stupid. Don't you go no fucking commercial. God, God damn it. You know you's a big son of a bitch. You sitting there warming up a damn salad. Hey, Miss Cleveland. 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 Hey
Dr. Now said I need to lose 30 pounds to get under 558, and I have no idea what the scale's gonna say. A lot, shit. But this is the only thing that can save my life right what now. Why the? Who, 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 six? Six oh two, why the? You done gang. Oh. Shut my mouth. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. It's too goddamn early to be celebrating now. Praise God. I'm so excited right now because I was so worried that nothing I was doing was going to have an effect. But I'm losing weight. Trump better not have no fucking stocking cap on his head no, on national no, fucking television. <laughs> Boy, goddamn. What's your stupid ass in the car? But I'm doing it. And I'm proud of my progress. Hello. You out in public on national fucking television with that spanking ass stocking rag on your fucking head. So you happy with that? It's a start. I'm I'm very happy. But you lost less than half your goal. And if you had been following your diet, you would easily have lost 30 pounds. You got damn right. You said you are doing what you're supposed to. She had a whole fucking wing in that damn salad, doc. He over there stretching because he don't get no fucking rest. He ain't got no fucking sense. How the hell he supposed to know? I don't ask for anything. I haven't asked for fast food, no sodas, no snacks. I don't ask for anything, so. Yeah, she did. I wasn't paying attention. What I tell you about having friends? He ain't never had no damn function in a relationship. You ever seen how that motherfucker go to bed? All right, so what I want you to do is go back and make the progress I told you to make. And do 30 pounds in one month to show me that you can do this. Okay, that's good. Okay. I better do sound good. Are you gonna fucking do it? That's the only one is not bored. Okay. Shut the fuck up. I thought I did enough. So, Doctor, now I'm ready for this. Because it's been years since I've lost weight at all. Shit, I know. What the fuck you telling us that for like we can't damn see it? Listen at this shit. Like we can't fucking tell. Bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought I did enough. So doctor, now I'm ready for this. Because it's been years since I've lost weight at all. Power to never give. And I feel like he downplayed my progress. And I don't think Troy's being very supportive either. What else Work you want to do to some bitch already? Wheeling your ass around, hauling you up and down the goddamn road. How much longer will I live? What you want him to do? Come in there and pull some of the shit off of you? How much more life will I have with me? How much more time will my children have with me? See, that other damn shit y'all riding in couldn't even make it back. I ain't even know they still make them fucking vans y'all got. That gotta be the last one. Yeah, I know why she ain't been back. It ain't got nothing to do with the circumstances at home. That's it. There you go, Troy. Get the fuck out of there. Make her damn theme for herself. Because I felt like he wasn't being supportive of me trying to get my life turned around for the better. So he decided to leave. Try somewhere getting him some good goddamn rest. I'm thinking this is my soulmate. How much fucking support you want? The damn man ain't even came and lay on his fucking back in the bed. And soon as he get his ass up, soon as he wiped the fucking cross out of his eyes, he got to look at your ass pissing a fucking bucket. You's a selfish bitch if I ain't damn seen one. You need me in your fucking life. Because you wouldn't talk to me like that. I ain't fucking supporting you and I gotta damn watch you pissing a fucking bucket and go pour it in the commode. You selfish bitch. I'm worried about my weight. When I 
have the weight of my whole house on me. So I'm just taking a break right now. And I'm not sure when I'm going to go back to Dr. Nazar. Me neither. I need to be there for my kids right now. But all this moving around and activity is taking a big toll on my body. And I'm in a lot of pain most of the day. For me to get to where I need to be, I have to push myself. So I try to work. Well, it's better than try pushing your ass. A struggle at times. So I'm not sure how I'm going to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. Because I have How's your day? Good. Did you do at school? Yes. What'd you do at school? Learn. Yeah. Paper, though. The fuck you think she did? Oh, you want to hear about lunch, don't you? That's not going to work every time. Hear about lunch. <laughs> oh. I put this where I put the papers. When I just need escape food, is the option I need right now. You sitting there, you ratting your ass back on that fucking sofa like that. And take care of my kids like they need. And my children come first. You got that to get man. up and, and work I out, sweetie. Said, you got to move. Some people can die from having an ugly wheel, man. And it just makes me worry that my mom is going to die. That's all she need to fucking hear. If, if that don't make you want to do better, Nisha, you's a sorry, selfish motherfucker. That damn girl too young to be worried about that. You done she pissed is. me off. Yeah, you right. She is. I'm I'm so goddamn sorry, baby. I feel like sometimes it's my fault. No, it ain't. She need to get up and move. No, man. hell no. You ain't done that. You didn't. That man, this done fucking broke my goddamn heart. That's what put all that fucking weight on her right now. That's what done it. You selfish bitch. You sitting out your damn daughter. Man, I'll whoop her fucking ass. Come on, I sister. And they need me right now. And so sitting there with your fucking legs spread like that. And I don't know when my situation's gonna change. So I can go back to trying to get help. That don't make no goddamn sense. It's been a hard few months, but things have started to get... Yeah, little dog ass in the mall. Where in the hospital? You want to throw off my... Put, move my seat and throw off my driving skills. I'm very nervous right now. I don't know what he's going to do. No, please! I'm with you! So, I'm expecting weight gain and everything else. Because I don't feel like I'm frustrated with myself because I could have tried to exercise better, <laughs> watch what I eat, but if you're dealing with stressful situations... No, but I dare you insinuate something like that. Bust is a gas at our home. Smack has been laid down. Um, yeah, that that's when you have your child literally telling you that they're afraid you're gonna die because you don't want to control your eating at least enough to um, get your weight under control. Listen, I know people think Justin is is overkill, but these a lot of these folks, man, they need a wake up call. Like all this pampering them and just being nice to them. No, some of these folks, you got to get in their face and tell them that you're being selfish. You're not thinking about nobody but yourself. You're feeling sorry for yourself. You're not serious about trying to lose no weight. You just want the doctor to take it all off so you don't got to do the work. No, sweetie, no. Get your ass up. Get in the gym. Work. Do something. Right? And the dude she was with, he like, man, I'm, I'm done with this. I, I can't blame him. I'm doing, I'm supporting you and I'm being here and helping out and I'm still not doing enough. No, she has, I don't know what, what happened at the end of this episode, but I hope she got her able to get her stuff together so she could be there for her child. You know, your mom already died to obesity. So, you know, and you're saying you don't want that to be you, but you sitting there scarfing down a whole pizza. Like, come on, man. 
Like you, you're just talking right now. You got like do it. Like be for real. You feel me? And so I hope she was able to get him, uh, everything uh, under control. Be there for her kids. Um, yeah, she needs. I would love to see Justin them put Justin in one of these episodes. Have him put in an episode and let him tell them like it is. That would be a, that would be must see TV right there. It would it would piss a lot of people off, but a lot of those people need to be pissed off. They need to be uh mad and angry and upset. They need to feel offended so they can do something about it. They need to be like that, man. So anyway, J-Rock whooped this challenges candy ass like he always does. What did you break? Timestamp where you lost and why. But if and J Rock means if you were somehow able to make it through this challenge without breaking, you gotta type the smack was laid down. Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know which starts reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed J Rock's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Stay tuned for my next video. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. It is me! What's J-Rock is cooking.